What are a farmer's responsibilities when transporting pesticides in Ontario? Everyone who transports pesticides in Ontario must follow the federal and provincial laws and regulations regarding the safe transportation of pesticides. These laws are in place to protect the driver, the public and the environment. A person who transports pesticides for the farm does not need to be a certified grower or a trained assistant. However, the certified grower is responsible for the pesticides at all times even when they're being transported. The certified grower should teach the driver how to transport the pesticides safely and legally. What can I do to prepare to transport pesticides safely? Inspect each container. Make sure there are no broken bags or cartons and no leaking containers. Make sure that each container has a label. Secure the containers so that they will not break open or spill. Never transport pesticides in the passenger area of the truck and never let people ride next to the pesticides. Use a truck with a steel or plastic lined bed. You can clean them up easily if there is a leak or spill. Be prepared in case you have a spill. Carry protective clothing and personal protective equipment. Spill cleanup equipment such as a shovel and kitty litter and a list of emergency phone numbers. Remember you must report spills to the Spills Action Center 1-800-268-6060 if the spill may be harmful to humans or the environment. Think ahead. Be prepared to transport safely. What are the laws under the Ontario Pesticides Act that I must follow when I transport pesticides? When you transport any pesticide, the pesticide must be separated from food or drink, household furnishings or other household goods. You must secure the load to make sure that the pesticides will not spill out of the truck. And, if you need to leave the truck unsupervised, you must lock the pesticides in an enclosed part of the truck, not the cab or passenger area, and put the chemical storage warning sign on the truck. Follow these Ontario laws to transport safely and legally. How should farmers transport pesticides that are classified as dangerous goods? Sometimes you need to use a pesticide that is classified under the Transportation of Dangerous Goods Act and regulations. A pesticide may be classified as Class 3 flammable liquid, Class 6.1 toxic substance, or Class 8 corrosive. If the pesticide is a dangerous good, you must keep the product in its original packing and container at all times when you transport. This means that the pesticide jug should be inside the box it was shipped in. By doing this, you keep the pesticide protected properly during transport and it will always be labeled clearly with the transportation of dangerous goods marking. The other requirements you must follow depends on where you're coming from and where you're going, how far you are going, what vehicle you're using, and the classification of the dangerous good. Let's look at three situations that are most common for farmers. The regulations are specific about what you must do when you transport dangerous goods between the retail store and the farm or place of use, from the farm to the place of use, and in the spray tank. Between the retail store and the farm or place of use, when you travel with dangerous goods pesticides between the retail store and the farm or place of use, you must keep the weight of the load to 3,000 kilograms or less, travel a distance of 100 kilometers or less, only transport containers that hold 450 liters or less. From the farm to the place of use. When you travel with dangerous goods pesticides from the farm to the place of use, you must 
keep the weight of the load to 1,500 kilograms or less, travel a distance of 100 kilometers or less, and use a truck that has farm plates. Always use a farm plated truck to transport pesticides between farms. This lets the transportation officials know that you're using the dangerous good for farming purposes. If you do not have a truck with farm plates, ask your pesticide retail outlet to deliver the pesticides. In the spray tank. When you travel with dangerous goods pesticides in your spray tank, you must put dangerous goods placards on the four sides of the equipment and leave the placards on until you have cleaned out the tank. If your tank holds 6,000 liters or less and you will be going a short distance of 100 kilometers or less, you don't need to put product identification numbers on the placards. What if my transport situation is different than these three most common situations? If you're transporting dangerous goods in a situation that is different than these three most common situations, you must follow further requirements of the TDG Act and regulations. In these other situations, the TDG regulations require that you must be properly trained, carry shipping documents, put proper labels and markings on the shipping cartons and containers, use the proper number of dangerous goods placards, report spills and accidents to the proper authorities, and use the TDG standardized means of containment, the packaging that is required for the product. To learn more about the requirements, or if you have a question about how to transport a dangerous good in Ontario, call the Dangerous Goods Inquiry Line at 1-416-973-1868 or email the office at tdg-tmdontario at tc.gc.ca. You can also find the information on Transport Canada's website at www.tc.gc. Dot CA slash TDG. How you transport a dangerous good depends on your transport situation. Consider your situation and follow the specific requirements for your situation.